what are the conditions that uh, some of these antiques are in, or most of them, that a lot of people don't realize. They see a cracked piece in the corner, they see a missing piece of glass, but as these pieces, as well as they were made, the lead doesn't hold up forever. Lead disintegrates and oxidizes, and when it deteriorates from age and from exposure, it really starts to fall apart. Almost all stained glass pieces, it doesn't make sense to try to patch up the broken piece, replace the one that's cracked. You take apart the entire window, all the lead is separated and scrapped and recycled to a metal yard and you clean the glass perfectly because the glass is stable. The glass may be horribly dirty, but it will clean up and mostly there's no deterioration of the glass. And then you rebuild the same window, replacing cracked pieces, finding matches for missing pieces uh, with fresh new lead and freshly soldered and cemented. So it's really a brand new window. Soldering was done really well, really flat and low and nice and antique patina, so it all looks antique. Today a lot of the soldering is like big, clumpy, poorly done. Uh, there people shine up their windows, which, you know, if, there's no such thing as an 1880s window shined up. Not having the, the background or the references or the deeper interest to find these things. Like uh, other things that are just being lost that are really traditional, they're not mystical, exotic, strange things to learn. But if you don't have a good guide, a good instructor, make that extra effort to find out what are these traditional techniques. People are cementing windows with the, whatever they sell at the hardware store, you know? and they're not doing it with the traditional techniques of brushing it to a dark patina. If you bring these antiques back, clean everything, rebuild it very well, uh, again, antique the lead and solder, you will end up with some very, very beautiful things. And it's, it's very gratifying to bring them back to such a fine condition and such a beautiful appearance. It's, it's something very special. When you see something like that and you realize you built those, it's, it's really gratifying, yes. It's got to be a challenge. If I'm not like, you know, tearing at my hair, banging against the wall, if it's not a challenge, it's just not that much fun anymore. And doing things on this extremely fine level to me is its own reward. Uh, what I really liked about stained glass, unlike drawing, is a drawing or a painting is the light reflecting off the surface of your painting on the wall. Whereas stained glass, the light is coming directly through the medium and into your eye. So it's a much more direct and for me, more essential art form than what you usually see as reflecting off of walls. Why is glass so beautiful in these 1880s, 1890s windows, especially after they've been cleaned and restored, re-leaded? There's a real reason, not just that it's cleaned properly and well-built and all that, and the lead is darkened, which you know, enhances it but the glass itself was manufactured much nicer. There was just many, many, many glass manufacturers around the country, and they were producing tons and tons of glass for a huge market. There were studios all over the United States. That has dwindled down to like three or four colored glass manufacturers today. And the expertise 
that the personnel have is going to diminish as the old timers who you know were familiar with those formulas and those old techniques you know retire so year by year quality beauty of color those things continue to sort of diminish and it's uh it's hard to match the glass from the 1880s and 1890s because it's more beautiful more translucent, letting more light through, more color combinations, just finer quality. I'd say the most frustrating thing has been how few people are interested in these crafts anymore. If they don't keep people apprenticing, all those great castles and churches and cathedrals are, are not going to be restored. there's a loss of the traditional techniques and the traditional tools. It's very disappointing to see something that you've been devoted to kind of being lost in, in the future, and I wonder where it's going to go.